Hello, this is part number four of our tutorial, Making Your First Phaser Game. In this chapter, I'm going to talk uh, with more details about how to make the platforms of the game. Uh, remember, I'm following this Phaser official tutorial that you can find in the Phaser website uh, of the same name, Making Your First Phaser 3 Game. You, I recommend you to look this tutorial and read this carefully and following the steps. Uh, what I'm doing is to do the same of this tutorial but in the Phaser Editor 2D way. In this chapter, uh, I have here four subjects here in this chapter and uh, let's see the first. The first thing is that you are creating and here the tutorial it is creating uh, the platforms using a static group. Uh, a group is a special object in Phaser, a utility object in Phaser for creating another objects with common properties. In this case, it is a static, it is a, a physics group with uh, for creating objects with a static physics body. How we make this in Phaser Editor 2D? Instead of using a static group for creating uh, objects with physics, uh, we are we're, uh, I'm using here prefabs. Let's look here in the editor. I'm using here the platform prefab. Uh, I talked about it in the previous video. And with this uh, platform prefab, I set in the static body, a setting a static body to all the prefabs here, all these platforms are, all the platforms are instances of the platform prefab. In a second subject here, uh, why it is using also, why in this tutorial, in the Phaser tutorial, it is using a group. It's using a group also because it is grouping the platforms. So grouping the platforms in a single structure, uh, it will use later, you will use that for testing collision between all platforms and the player. So a group help you also for this task of testing collision. But how we do that in Phaser Editor 2D? Because we are not using here a group. What I can do here, what we can do is to select all the platforms and add it to a list. A list, an object list is just an array. Add to a new list. I will call this list platforms. The platforms. That's all. We have the platforms list, list here with all the platforms. It generates, look here in code, always look into code. It generates an array with all the platforms. All the platform instances here in our, our array, I assign it. It assigns it to a platform field because it has the list, has a class scope. So we can use later that that Anna our array of platforms. We can use later for testing collision or for whatever other things you need when you ask for accessing all the platforms. So that's it. A third subject here we have is when we create the, the platforms as we saw in the, the previous video. I want the base, the bottom platform. I will set that with a scale two. Here, the platform here. This is the game. Yeah, let me close it here. It is the game here. So I have this bottom platform has a different scale, a bigger scale. And when you set that, when you change the scale of the platform, of a static with of an object with a static body you have to refresh the body because it is a static if it is a dynamic body you don't have to refresh the body if you change the scale but here because we are changing the scale you have 
we have to refresh the body with this method here refresh the body how we can do that in phaser editor first i want to show you something here in visual studio code we have open the we have open the the game there is here the running the web the the web development browser web development server sorry um, what about this what is this because i was changing that okay and look here in the index i will add debug i want to debug i want to debug the bodies look here the body of the bottom platform is not in synchronization with the dimension of the platform why because it requires to refresh the body for refreshing the body i can do this let's do a first thing i select the platform i said it will be it will have a scope a class a scope it means it will generate let me change the name bottom platform it will generate a field a bottom platform field here uh, so i can let me open visual studio code i can here in the create method to say this bottom platform refresh the body and now when you leave the game that's it the body is refreshed but what about if i change now the scale of this platform we have changed the scale here again we have the same problem i have to refresh this platform again but uh, what about if, if i have more and more platforms the best for that reason we have a platform prefab what i'm going to do is instead of setting one by one instead of refreshing one by one each platform i change the scale i will do that in the platform prefab here in the platform prefab every platform is an instance of this platform prefab what I will do is to refresh it here, but look here. Let's take a look to the sun. It generates the platforms, it creates the platforms, it changes the scale, and I cannot refresh the platform inside this class here when it's created because the scale is modified after that, later. But look, at the end of the scene, when it gener at, the, at the end of the scene, it emits the scene awake event event with this event if i listen this event on the platform prefab then i can refresh the body let's do that the open visual studio code here i will say look i have here the platform prefab i will listen here in this part of the code in the constructor i will talk to you later about this comments here i will say to send event once this the sin awake when the scene awake i will refresh the body look here we have the problem here with the body i save here and that's it that's it all the bodies are refreshed all the body are refreshed because we are refreshing that in the prefab for that reason we have the scene awake event that you can listen for uh, setting up your prefab after every object is add and modify it in the scene uh, i want to talk a bit more i want to talk a bit more i think 
here we talk about it is it, that's it in the chapter that you change the scale and you have to refresh the body but here in relation to the phaser editor i want to talk you more about these comments here what this mean as you can see we have a lot of comments here start user code end user code and here start user imports and user imports it means when you change something in the scene or in the prefab, uh, the compiler generates the code again. It modifies the file. And if you do not want to lose, you cannot write in every. If you write something here, for example, is printer refresh body. And I then save. I compile the prefab. If I compile the prefab, compile scene, look, it disappeared. It disappeared because the compiler only will get these parts, all the all the code inside these special comments. The compiler will preserve that. It is going to preserve, preserve, preserve this user code. So you can write more user code here. You can write more user code here at the start of the file so you in the here in the in this section for importing more code so you can merge in this way you can write insert user code inside the code generated by the editor i think that's it for this chapter see you later follow this channel like this video if you have any question, please uh, write a comment here. See you. Goodbye.